Welcome to The Lake Show, where you can find out what's going on in and around Lake Loudoun. This show is brought to you by the Fort Loudoun Lake Association, a nonprofit environmental conservation organization that keeps Fort Loudoun Lake clean and safe. I'm Allison Kelly, and I'm the communication specialist for the Fort Loudoun Lake Association, and I work with zone managers and an in-house scientist to remove trash and debris daily, educate the community on pollution prevention, and monitor the stormwater and the health of our streams. And today we have Rob Wallace with us. He is a volunteer. Um, he helps us out at some of our events. We recently had our fall kickoff and he mm -hmm. helped out with that at Calhoun's with Bruce Pearl and yeah. all of that fun stuff. Um, yeah. So basically we're gonna talk about uh, Rob's association with the lake, why he thinks it's important to help out and have a clean Lake Loudon. So how did you find us? We're, it is. It is important. It is important. Yeah. Um, I. Uh, happened upon one of your all's events one time and just uh, met your director, Angela mm -hmm. Howard, and um, got to talking with her about what all you all do, and I just really wanted to get involved. I'm since, I'd say probably about high school, I really spent a lot of time on Fort Loudon specifically, but, um, you know, we're surrounded by water around here, so it's kind of just a way of our life, and I love fishing and everything, so I'm always in and out of the water, mm -hmm. but... Um, I just thought it'd be a fun way to, or a fun community group to get involved with. Um, so are you a boater, or are you a paddler, or what, what's, what's your, where do you fit in? Kind of I'm, both? I'm a boater, a I'm boater. a paddler, I'm okay. a, I'm a canoeer. I tried yeah. supping, stand up paddleboard. Yeah. I tried that at one of your all's events. It's a lot um, of fun, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It is. My, my buddy explained it to me. He's like, what's the one thing you're not supposed to do in a canoe? And I said, I stand up, I guess. He's like, exactly. That's what it feels like the whole time. But it, you get used to it. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't done it, go do it. So yeah. it's, um, but that's just another way to get out on the water. And it's, so yeah. yeah, fishing, boating. I was surprised at how many paddle boarders we actually had at the Paddle for Clean Water. I know you didn't get to make it to that event, but mm -mm. you did uh, the Splash Jam event. Yeah. And um, that, they had a paddle race, right? That was huge. Was yeah. it? Okay. Yeah, there was... Um, I don't even know how many different paddlers were there, but people came in from all over the South to come compete. Mm -hmm. And it was hilarious. They had everything from really, really good paddleboarders out there on their single boats or boards. And then they had the big group ones. I don't know if you the saw. The sub squats? Yeah. Yeah, those are awesome. <laughs> it was hysterical. Yeah. The big teams of like eight guys on these things just hauling as slow or fast as they could. Yeah, but. that's awesome. Um, so what is... Are you from Knoxville or are you, I am. okay? So you're yeah. a Knoxville native. I am. So you have a, an attachment to Lake Loudoun. I do. I've over here. I've I go away and come back. I've uh, lived a number of places with um, the Forest Service and and other positions, but um, Knoxville's home, and it's because we're bookended by the Smoky Mountains on one end, and we have the lakes mm -hmm. that we're inundated with, in a good way, and it's. It, it just it has a unique draw that I just have to keep coming back to Knoxville, and I want to. You know, yeah, it is a great place to be. Yeah. yeah. So, what did you um, like about our fall kickoff event? It was I thought it turned out to be pretty successful. It was great. Yeah. First off, it was a gorgeous day. Yeah, it was. It was a gorgeous day, nice late summer afternoon, mm -hmm. and um, I really enjoyed we had the band, and I got to meet. That was the first time that I'd had any interaction with um, some of the other FLLA members. Yeah. Um, and it was fascinating for me to see what brought them in, you know, to volunteer or to um, uh, to participate in one, one regard or another or mm. just be members. And uh, it was it was neat to get to talk with them. And also I got to talk with the zone managers. Yeah. Um, and a couple, and the, the your marine, not marine biologist, but uh, the, your main scientist. The, the scientist, yeah. Yep. Mike. Mike. Yeah. And they're they're a hoot, man. And those are the guys, uh, the zone managers are the guys that are out there every day. Yeah, they are. Putting the hours in. Even the scientist is out there on Fridays. He's yeah. putting in his time on the boat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you work for the forestry service. I have, yeah. Right? With um, stream restoration, or is that what you're currently doing? Or I, I have done, on and off for a number of years, uh, worked with a couple different uh, stream organizations. And everything from working with AmeriCorps to doing um, stormwater control, quality control, uh, to actual streamside restoration. So they will uh, 
restore or mitigate damaged streams in the watershed. So the stuff upriver that, of course, eventually gets down to the big water, mm -hmm. they focus on that and restoring the streams back to uh, natural natural quality of life. Okay. We can sustain environmentally. So. Well, that's really good for our river and the you know the progression of making Lake Loudoun a much nicer place to be, which exactly. it's, it's come light years since it, you know. Yeah. Even 10 years ago, it's yeah. come light years. It's so night, and, night and day. It really is. Like, I'm, I'm not afraid to get out in the, in the lake anymore. Yeah. So I'm out there paddling and having a good time. Um, so do you get to go out on the water a lot or? Yeah, I try to get out a couple. At, at the peak of the season, I'll be out a couple times a week. Yeah. Um, and that's mainly going out fishing, going on a little fishing boat. Mm -hmm. um, I get up real early or, or get out for the evening fishing run. So. so how did you find us? Like, what, what brought you to Fort Loudon Lake Association? Um, I wanted to make, I wanted to help. Mm -hmm. I think it's a worthy cause. Um, number one, probably, I would argue at this point, maybe is um, increasing awareness. Mm -hmm. Because you all do such a play such a vital role in the overall health of the river, and it's not an overnight project. No, it's going to be years in the making and getting increasing awareness. And I, I'm I'm from Knoxville. I've I'm involved in natural resource management in one regard or another. Have been for years, and I, it was news to me. So yeah. um, it was. I figured if I didn't know, I'd, I don't know who all doesn't know, and maybe I can just help out a little bit by getting out on volunteer days or yeah. or um, or other events you all host. So. Yeah, and, and March is our big volunteer month, so we, we've just had you know just had it a few months ago, yeah. and kind of already planning for that March volunteer month again, and so we're looking forward to finding more people like you to help us, you know, bring that to be a bigger part of our organization and. Um, yeah. Make it fun out of it. You know, the, the the events we have are, you know, there's so much fun to bring in the volunteers, clean mm -hmm. up before it. Uh, we started to do a, a cleanup before the paddle for clean water, but we got down to Nedmick Water and the city of Knoxville did like a stellar job of really? just getting it clean. That's great. So we got down there and we're like, well, what are we going to do now? <laughs> we're done. But uh, they had Perfect. a great cleanup before the uh, splash jam. Right. Yeah, they got that a huge. That was a big one. Didn't they get a huge truck which is full of. I don't know. I didn't get to. Yeah. I didn't get to go. But all sorts of debris, and I. Um, it was. It was amazing. It was like army of ants because it was so many volunteers, mm -hmm. and I believe River Sports was involved with that one yeah, too. And a lot were. of them were out there as volunteers, and um, the paddleboard folks were out there. And yeah, they filled up a truck like um, I don't know what they call them, but where they drop the dumpster on site and then they come back and pick that feller up later. Yeah, filled that up. Wow. And uh, I believe was it. Um, one, at least one of your zone managers was out there that day just hauling constantly, just mm -hmm. working, working, working. Yeah, I heard they went through a lot of boat gas that day, you know, bringing in stuff. I bet. Yeah. I bet. Hauling volunteers around. And it was neat to see all the, the stand-up paddleboarders were out there with their trash oh, bags, really? too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, had talked about doing an urban canyoneering, uh, taking paddleboards down, like, First Creek and picking up trash. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That'd be great. That would be fun. I think they at River Sports ended up doing it, but really? I, I don't. I don't know what happened as far as that goes, but <laughs> it would be a fun event to take on, that's for sure. Well, there's so much potential, and there's so much stuff that, because mm -hmm. there's so much work to be done. Yeah. So any way y'all can swing it, uh, it's, it, in the, again, the short time that I've been involved, it's amazing to see how many different activities mm -hmm. that you all have had. Yeah. And and the diversity of, of involvement. Yeah. So. So you say you've lived in several places. Mm -hmm. Have you been involved with other organizations in other s cities you've lived in or seen kind of a similar um, organization? Yeah, sure. Um, some more than others. Um, especially with the unique status of a not-for-profit organization like you are, mm -hmm. that I I've worked with federal agencies and f for for-profit companies and for... Um, not for profits, and some of the more impressive that I've seen is I, I lived in Colorado for a while, and they have a great which I I've been watching, and it's very interesting and um, progressive to see the evolution of how you all work with the government agencies. Yeah, um, that is a huge deal. And where I lived before, they, it was 
not on the water, but it was in the high country mountains, and there was a lot of public-private interface, and there was stream quality res or issues. So it was always trying to figure out the balance of um, protecting the natural areas mm -hmm. in the urban environment. Yeah. And I, I was very impressed with how they were doing it, and I see that going on right here right now, which is, uh, it wasn't here 10 years ago, yeah. like you said. It wasn't here eight years ago. And Legacy Parks is doing a great job with that, with the urban wilderness in South Knoxville Absolutely. and that development, and um, it's, they're doing such a great job with that. It, no, it's, it's awesome to see. It's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. it really is. And so I, I could see Colorado having a you know, an organization like that. I've, I've been out there and it is a very, you know, environmentally conscious town, city. And I kind of see Knoxville trending towards the more um, environmentally conscious I, theme. Absolutely. You know? it's, yeah. It's awesome, actually, to see the encouragement yeah. behind it. Yeah. Well, like you're saying with Legacy, the, the uh, Legacy Parks, none of their stuff has happened by accident. Mm -hmm. They are actively working with private landowners. Mm -hmm. Uh, to secure conservation easements and to secure these trails and then getting volunteers and, and employees out there to build the trails. And this is land that is essentially now protected into perpetuity. Yeah. And it's, that, that's humbling it you is. Know, to think about because that's not a lifetime. That's for ever, essentially. Yeah. So um, I'm very proud of Knoxville. I think it's an exciting time to be around here. It really is. Knoxville is, is so progressive. It's, it's grown so much and the, you know, I think it helps having a college town, having that youth spirit and the you know, people wanting to get involved, make it better and see Lake Loudon improve and become, yeah. you know, just a better asset. I mean, it's already an amazing asset to mm -hmm. Knoxville, but to see it just shine makes it right. awesome. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the show today. Thanks and for having me. Yeah, and uh, it's been fun. And I'm yeah. thank you for helping out with our events. And, you know, I hope you continue to help out with us. And um, Thank you for joining us today. And um, just a reminder, um, REM is what we do. We remove trash and debris. We educate the community on pollution prevention, and we monitor the health of our streams. Two ways you can help out is you can go and donate at flla.org, flalake.org, or sign up to be a volunteer on there as well. Um, like us on Facebook and sign up for our newsletter on our website. Thank you for watching.